Hi, all right, so I'm going to teach you guys how to get started with Unity. So I've downloaded Unity. I'm going to open it up. You probably won't get that page. You'll probably get this page right here. And you're going to go to Create New Project. You're going to say, okay, I want it to be on the desktop or wherever you want it to be. And let's call it Awesome Project of Doom. Um, and save. And then you'll probably get a bunch of these little packages. And this is just stuff that comes with Unity that makes your thing better. But um, let's just pick a couple here. Let's pick a skybox and let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Whatever you guys want. You're not going to have this many because I downloaded a bunch. But pick the ones you like and then go to create project. Let's go load up those packages. Packages is are just kind of like archived files, um, our big folder of cool stuff that you can put into your project. So once it's done doing this, you'll come to this screen. And this is how I usually set up my project. First, I go to Terrain, the top, Create Terrain, and then press F, and it zooms in, or it kind of centers the view on that. And then if you go over here to position, let's put it at negative 500 on X, negative 500 on Y, just so it kind of centers the world. Then we're going to go to create object, or game object, create other directional light. And this is just kind of a, um, a sun, we'll call it. You click on here, you press return, you can name it sun, <coughs> if you want. Now if you go over here, you can uh, use these things to rotate your sun. These are the rotation numbers, or I guess orientation of it. You can also press R, or no, E, and that allows you to rotate it just by using these little handles here. So either way, you like it, that works. I'm going to put its position at a thousand just so it's out of the way, or a hundred, whatever I put. Alright, so let's create a basic game so we're going to create other, and we're going to call, make a cube, right? Press F, it zooms in on the cube. Let's put this guy's position, go over here and go to reset position. Just so he's in the middle. Then let's move him up a bit. All right, now let's rename him player. Now we're going to want to give him a script that has him move. Now, as you see here, if I move him just by using these things, over here... Um, the Z coordinates changing and then over here the X coordinates changing if I move them that way if I move them up the Y coordinates changing so that kind of gives you an idea of what these things mean um, they're basically his coordinates in the world actually you know what I'm having trouble seeing so let's go to terrain click on this paintbrush go to edit textures add texture and then let's put, you know pick anything I'm gonna put grid that'll help and there we go got a little grid so to create a script we're gonna go over here and say create and then JavaScript and then you can rename that by pressing enter and you can name it movement script and then we're gonna click and drag that over to our player over here and what that'll do is it's gonna put the script down here and that means it'll only affect this player object or whatever object you drag the script onto. So it's not going to move the sun, it's not going to move the terrain or the camera, it's just going to move this guy. And that's good. So double click that and it'll open up the script editor. By default it's Unitron, which is simple and it's good to start on. Now we're going to start by creating a variable. And a variable is just kind of a... well, I guess what it sounds like in math, you know, you have 2 plus 5 equals 7, and then if you say x equals 5, then you can say 2 plus x equals 7. So it's a placeholder. So the way you set these up is you say var, and then we'll name ours move speed. And this kind of, um, you know, way of typing it with lowercase, uppercase, that's just kind of, I guess, how people do it. I don't know. I just do it because they do it. And we're going to say it's a float. And what a float is, is it's a number with a floating point or a period in between. So like that dot. 
Now an integer would be like one. A float is like 1.0. So that'll give us a little bit more in terms of uh, precision when we want to change the speed. So there we go, we got our move speed. Now if we save that and we go back to Unity, you'll see that our player guy now has a new variable down here. And this thing you can type in a number, you can even click and drag left and right to change the thing and you can see that it's not just changing from 4 to 5, it's changing from 6 to 6 point whatever. So that's cool. So go back into your script and now we're going to give it some um, input. So we're going to say if, so type that. And what that is, this is an if statement. This is saying if a condition is met, then do something. So in this case, we're going to be saying if input, which is, well, as it sounds like an input, dot get button, and then we're going to name our button. We're going to call it forward. So get button, which button? Forward. So if we press get button, or the forward button, sorry, um, this is what it's going to do. I'm going to say transform dot translate, and then we're going to say uh, transform dot forward. So we want to go forward times move speed times time dot delta time. Don't worry about the time to delta time thing. Um, but basically what we're saying is we're going to move this guy forward relative to our transform, which I'll explain later, at move speed. And we're going to save that. Now if you see here, it says transform. Now the transform forward is this blue arrow, the Z axis. So when we move it forward, it's going to be translating along that Z axis. That'll make more sense. But first, we need to set up our input. So we go to project settings, input, and click that so it scrolls down or opens up. And then we're going to say, let's give it 21. There's a bunch of jumps down here. Let's change this. So pick one of the jumps, type in forward, and then type in the key you want to mean forward. So we'll do W. Make sure that this forward is the same as it's um, spelled there. So if this is lowercase, but this isn't, or, sorry, but this isn't, then it'll mess it all, everything up. So now let's do this for all the other ones. So backward, we'll make that S um, right. Oops, not rigged it. We'll make that D. And I'll make this A. Oh, whoops, sorry, left. And we're gonna make it the A button. So that's gonna make sense in a sec. And we can save our scene. Let's save it as scene one. All right, now let's click on our player character. And when we press W, the forward button, he should move. Now let's find out. Actually, hold on, let's move our camera so that you can actually see him moving. Again, you can move this with these things up here as well. And actually, let's take this guy, the uh, camera, and let's click it and drag it onto the player. And now he's parented to that. So which means is if the player moves, the camera moves with it. So now let's press play. So I'm not pressing W, I'm pressing W, I'm not pressing, pressing, not pressing, pressing. Pretty cool. But let's make it a little bit better. So let's copy and paste that. And we're going to say if get button backward. And then just put a negative in front of that transform forward. So it's going to make this number, which essentially comes out to a number, it's going to make that negative. So we're going backwards instead.